Welcome to That's Pretty Neat with Roger and Stefan, where we discuss neat, holistic, regenerative agriculture. I notice you're feeding uh, oats and alfalfa. Mm -hmm. um, can you tell people why, what, what triggered this pretty neat idea to feed <laughs> oats and alfalfa? Uh, alfalfa acts as a protein and is a protein for cattle. Okay. Oats are a carbohydrate. If they get too much of either, their poop can either become too fibrous with carbohydrates and too soft with protein. So we found that during the wet season, which is what's about to begin, since everything is growing, there's a lot of moisture and a lot of protein type legumes and stuff growing, their poop gets really runny. And that's something that happens in California a lot. So we found if we do a mix of a little bit more oat than hay, a little bit more, excuse me, oats than alfalfa, it keeps their poop Good. There we go. Good. Okay. Okay. So, uh, and, and so have you found that the red air that keeps them more regular and they're gaining better weight and yeah. doing better on, on the, on the forage? Yeah. A lot to better. just give them a bit of a top up energy, energy. Yeah. Okay. Carbs act as energy for them. Okay. Fantastic. So the cheap hay is actually beneficial in the wet season. It's awesome in the wet season. Now, uh, what's the difference in the dry season? Dry season, there's a lot more dry matter. Okay. And carbs are a lot more plentiful or for them what they decide to eat. So we'll either do a mix of molasses. I think it's called corner trough. Uh, corner post. Corner post, corner trough. From free choice. From free yep. choice. It's a mix of minerals and molasses. Super okay. good. They love it. It's molasses. And we give them uh, alfalfa. Usually okay. we never feed oat in the dry. Okay. Just because they'll either need more protein because they're uh, already fibrous. Already. Okay. So you do change how you supplement oh, them yeah. based on the season. Based on the season and how much has grown the year prior. Okay. Because a lot of times in the beginning and a lot of times during the season, we won't have to feed. They'll look too good. We'll be like, this is not a great time to feed. Okay. Ah, so that's another important factor. So you're only feeding when you feel you need to feed based on animal condition. Yeah. Okay, fantastic. That's pretty neat. Thanks, Stefan. <laughs> okay. Uh, you can follow Roger at d2gftf.com and also on his socials at Roger Savory Holistic Management on YouTube and Facebook. We are Las Cumbres Ranch. You can follow us on social media at Las Cumbres Ranch over all platforms. And thanks for tuning in. It's been real neat.